Louis Gomert, apparently, while we're talking Louis Gomert, now something happened, and this is definitely, there's nothing that's happening, ladies and gentlemen, that does not confirm a lot of what our speculation is about what Louis Gomert is really doing. Now, we just had a caller from... Uh, from the district next door to Louis Gomert's, and she says that's a pretty crazy district, and that's why you get a guy that crazy. But if I was a Russian, or at the time, Soviet <laughs> spy, essentially, or in charge of the Soviet spy agency, that's exactly what I would do. I would tell a young Louis Gomert who had come over to study in college in Russia, in the Soviet Union, I would send him back to the craziest district in the country because that provides the perfect cover, right? I mean, isn't that what you see in all the movies, right? They tell you that, like, um, I can't remember which Mel Brooks movies it was, but when they're trying to sneak through the airport, they... If you're loud and crazy, they actually ignore you. So it was reported today uh, in The Hill and uh, other uh, outlets. Louis Gomer was, uh, was interviewed, or I guess they just reached out to uh, Gomer from The Hill magazine. It's a sort of like a trade magazine for, you know, what goes on in, uh, on the Hill in Washington. Hill reached out to Gomert to ask if he'd be supporting Ted Cruz's presidential campaign. Gomert said, quote, Ted is a good friend and would be an outstanding president. However, I haven't ruled out an exploratory committee myself. <laughs> now, you'll recall Gomert attempted to unseat John uh, Bonaire from the Speaker of the House position. And certainly, Gomert has said far crazier things than he could be president. In fact, look, we all knew Michelle Bachman was never going to win. Raised her profile in time for her to have to leave because of ethical issues. But she's going to be able to go around the country now and make a living talking to the yahoos. But then... After the story is printed, Gomert's office puts out a release saying Gomert was just joking. Quote, Washington, D.C. contains too many who do not recognize statements made with a figurative tongue in cheek, sometimes known as being ironic. Now, I'm sorry. Wow. Now, wait Look a second. Here, Mr. Fancy Pants. Look at you. <laughs> we, have we have cataloged a lot of Gomert statements over the years. And this is by far one of the least crazy things he said in public. But just contemplate this for a moment, right? Gomer goes out there, well, I'm running for president. And then moments later, he gets a call. Louis. This was not <laughs> the plan. What makes you think that you're the only person we have who could be running for president? There's more of us? Oh, my God. Ted Cruz is also a secret agent from the Russian Empire? This is correct, Uli, and we have plans with him. Don't worry. I'll just say I was joking. Oh, that, that might be the only time, the moment where he's just like, no, please not, Ted. I don't want to bring America to it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I hate it. It's an imperialist, capitalist, superstructure, criminal state, but I don't want to completely destroy it. How would I be able to spy against it? I've been a spy the whole time. you got to believe me. Ted Cruz is going to destroy America. I mean, that's the only explanation, right? That's the only explanation. 
I well, he's it. been brushing up on his irony skills and his sarcasm. Oh, God true. of the Let's internet. That's right. <laughs> excuse me. No, think about it. All right. So this is all actually starting to make sense. So we know that Louis Gohmert uh, spent time in Russia as a young man. That's yep. where he established and began to be handled by the KGB. We know that Rafael Cruz, before suddenly becoming a demented you know, Christian, whatever he is, fought with Castro against yep. Batista. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, okay. I, I'm not an idiot. Deep I think, cover. I think deep the cover. You see the pen. Yeah. In fact, I'm not convinced that the whole fall of the Soviet Union wasn't just a scheme. Like they realized, like we have Louis in place now. Phase two, we pretend like the Soviet Union has fallen. Long game, comrade. <laughs> This is for reals. How this can you, even as a scam, it's going to be really hard to hide my emotional pain at the motherland collapsing. <laughs> All right, let's... Um, the day the union fell was the most tragic day of my life. <laughs> <laughs>